Virgo alongside Adam Summerton. Thank you, Matt. Good afternoon, everyone. Wembley in the sunshine. There are few better sights in football. The time of the year when the prizes are handed out. And at this level, for these players, there's nothing more sought after than Football League promotion. For Tranmere and Forest Green, a season's work is on the line. Eyes on the prize. Defeat almost unthinkable. It is winner takes all. It is high stakes football. Get to that in a moment, but Forest Green, unlike last year's promotion final, they come into this with a fully fit squad available. There are just two survivors from the 11 that began the defeat to Grimsby a year ago. They are the former Watford defender Dale Bennett and Keanu Marsh Brown, who scored a stunning goal here in last season's final. Charlie Cooper, who's on loan from Birmingham, is the son of manager Mark Cooper. Tranmere are without eight players through injury. The latest casualty is James Wallace, who licked off in the second leg of the semi-final win over Aldershot. His place in the side is taken by Andy Mangan, who's had two spells with today's opponents, Forrest Green. Captain Steve McNulty is aiming to complete a fifth promotion of his career with a fourth different club. Well, James Wallace coming out the side for Tranmere. Mickey Mellon hasn't decided to change his formation to a 3-5-2 that's brought him a lot of success this season. Connor Jennings pushing back into that midfield, he's played there with Wrexham under Gary Mills, but it's a way for me that Tramier are going to press in these first 15-20 minutes, they did it against Aldershot over the two legs, and that's where they won the game in the first 15 minutes, Forest Green, you know they like to play out from the back, Mark Cooper's side, but it's, for me it's how they get Noble into the game in the final third, and Marsh Brown, if they can get them early on the ball to create problems for Tramier, they can have a lot of joy today. So for Scott Davis in goal, you certainly be aware that this could be coming his side as well, Liam Noble has eight people in the crowd watching him here today. What can he produce? That's off target. Disappointing, really, from Forest Green's perspective. Yeah, it was. Decided to go goalkeeper's side. Just gets it horribly wrong. Nine points between these sides at the end of the regular season. Tranmere second, Forest Green third. As Wallery decides to have a go! What a goal from Kane Woolery. The man who scored the winner against Tranmere in their last league meeting has scored against them today. But this time it's at Wembley. And now it gives them the lead in the National League promotion final. Well, it's a great start, isn't it, for Forest Green? You need to squeeze up. There comes a time when you have to close the angle down and they just don't do enough. Ayikwi Hughes, you have to come out and close the ball down, you can't allow him this amount of time to shoot. It's a brilliant finish. Probably surprises Scott Davis more than anything to go in that bottom corner. It's a brilliant finish from Kane Woolery. But Tramir just don't do enough to come up and squeeze the ball to stop the shot happening. What a season it's been for Kane Woolery. He's played in the Championship in League One and the National League, all in the same season, currently on loan from Wigan. He's have to set yourself a massive target to, to get towards. The Lincoln chairman saying that as well with, with Lincoln and the Cowley brothers to, to be in the championship in five years. In goes the long throw in from Alice Deutsch with the header. Just watched over by Scott Davis, but his height in there as I say, he's a former basketball player, he can cause problems, Deutsch. He really rises as well, just like Jax McNulty and Maynard, which is not the easiest thing to do, but defensively as well, Adam, very, very useful. Inside here towards Lois Maynard, and now Jennings, chance to shoot! Oh, what a hit! You don't stop those! It's a beauty from Connor Jennings. That's how to get yourselves back on terms. Big, big goal for Tramir. Well, you look at your big game players, the key moments of the game, they don't really do enough. They leave themselves a little bit isolated. It's a great little ball there from Lois Maynard to set up Connor Jennings. I don't care who you are, Adam, you don't save those. Strikes it brilliantly. Catches it, an absolute treat. Leaves Sam Russell with no chance whatsoever to keep that ball out. 
I said they've been pretty poor since the reaction from going a goal behind, but I tell you what, what a way to get back in the game. Let's get a Forest Green perspective on the opening half an hour or so. Natalie's with Mark Cooper. Mark, great start, a good goal, but they uh, they responded. What's your thoughts of the half hour? Well, we started really well for 20 minutes, you know, and then, in fact, a great goal from, from them. You know, you've got to give them credit. It's a great finish, so could be a bit tighter, possibly, centre-offs. But, um, you know, we've... Here goes Norwood's great save. Really good start by Sam Russell. That's a chance that was for James Norwood. Picked up a great position there between Ellis and Bennett. Ellis got his head to that. Tranmere putting on the pressure. Space here for Liam Noble to work with. Up towards Marsh Brown. His first touch was brilliant. His second wasn't bad either. But that is a tremendous save from Scott Davis. Well, how crucial will that save be? That is an unbelievable save from Scott Davis. So close to a second for Forest Green. It's a great run from Keanu Marsh Brown. It's the first time he's really coming off the line. You know, we're talking about his qualities. I mentioned it earlier, McNulty will give you a yard or two. I mean, that is unbelievable. And that is world-class, Adam. That is unbelievable there from Scott Davis. He knows it's going over him to move his feet so well. And then just claw it out with Christian Deutsch coming in on him. Could that save be so crucial today? Seven to go at the end of this first half. Jennings able to control the ball, it was good! Oh, any touch at all. And it was 2-1 to Tranmere. Mangan it was sliding it. And it's a great play again, Connor Jennings picking up a great position in the 18-yard box. It's just so, so close there for Andy Magnan. Just puts it there on a the plate for you to be a hero. It's a great ball there from Connor Jennings. Just well, a shame. You were old enough, it's a Gaza <laughs> moment, yeah. Adam. It's just a shame he's not six foot two. Norwood. Jennings. Just to immediately win it back off. No, but no faulting the commitment out there. Now then, this could be interesting. It's Deutsch who's peeled wide. Marsh Brown is central. On goes Deutsch. He'll have a go! Oh, stunning! Incredible hit from Christian Deutsch. Forrest Green's top scorer this season has delivered again. He arrowed that towards goal. It's a run of Keanu Marsh Brown that really initiates this on. The complaining of a foul, Connor Jennings. The referee seems to play advantage. You look at Marsh Brown. And then all of a sudden, this is where you want Stephen McNulty out wide. You've got to show him down the line. You can't afford to let him come inside on his right foot. Again, we're talking about Connor Jennings' his strike. That's right up there. Straight into the top corner. Leaves Scott Davis without any chance whatsoever of keeping that ball out. It's a great final. Because we know Tramley will come again, but it's Woolery at the other end. Oh, what composure! Kane Woolery for Forrest Green. Two quick-fire goals at Wembley. It's all falling apart for Tramley. But for Forest Green, it's looking very good indeed. When you make the mistake, you still need the composure to finish it off. Again, you just don't deal with it, you just bounce near right out. But take nothing away from the finishing Kane Woolery. When you're in that position there, you could possibly know the magnitude of how important this goal is. It's a brilliant finish. He was so in control of that. I knew when he went through there, there was only going to be one outcome. It's a brilliant finish from him. What a turnaround we've just had in the last couple of minutes.
Two goals today for Woolery against Tranmere. He scored the winner against them at Brenton Park back in April. Mickey Mallon must be sick at the sight of Kane Woolery. It is Jeff Hughes, Northern Ireland international, who sends it in there for Tranmere. The keeper stayed put, and he got a good save there. Russell sticking out a right hand. We've been privileged to two world-class saves, and this is another one from Sam Russell. You get a little bit of luck from creating a save like that. It's just mangling on the line. He just can't quite get something on it to put it into the back of the net. He already was on him at the start of the corner. You deserve that little bit of luck, Adam. You really do. Great save from him. Inside to Traore. Alice under a bit of pressure. Just about enough on that. It's calmly dealt with by Russell. Has he got himself in trouble here? He's been robbed of possession. And it was almost a gift for Tranmere and Carl Stockton. Hughes, a change being readied, I'm told, down on the Forest Green bench as well. Doesn't have a go! Oh, my goodness! Whatever next in this game. Cut play again. Just a pop shot from nothing. Sam Russell absolutely stunned. Just goes agonizingly past the post. Dunn, who will join Lincoln in League Two? Dunn. A oh, great cross, and only just wide from Cole Stockton. Agonizingly close there. We were talking about the goal from Christian Doyd. You, got, you can't show him on your right foot. Got to do more to stop the cross coming in, Keanu Marsh Brown. That's enough just to lose Mark Ellis seven. Just gets away from Cole Stockton. It's difficult to bring that into his body. Sliding in was Buxton. First chance for Wishart to get involved. Surging down this left hand side. He's got Noble inside if he decides to use it. And he's still going on Wishart. It's an incredible run. And now Noble will hit it! Well, his reaction suggests that wasn't far off. Buxton to Maynard. Flipped by Norwood. Brings Jack Dunham to the game here. And Jeff Hughes. A wide in the end from the Northern Irishman. Certainly the opportunity came to him. Just trying to squeeze up a little bit more Forest Green. Maynard to Dunn, and Dunn's done well, he snatched at the shot. He's got Norwood and Cook screaming at him, just went for the glory, completely chose the wrong option. Score from that angle, crossing to the box to cause problems. He certainly knows what he's doing there, trying to get under the skin of the Tramley players. Long it goes from Buxton. Monte got his head to it. The volley is some way off target from Liam Rydash. And again, it's another quality header there from the screen. Despair again for Tranmere. Decision making in the final third in terms of when to shoot and when to cross hasn't been there. A little bit of luck there when Cooper slips. Really, conviction there from Liam Rydash. The wait is almost over for Forest Green, the dream it would see about to become a reality. A National League club for almost two decades. Is Mark Cooper going to be the first man to take them to the promised land? Surely this will be Tramier's last chance to get a goal. Had a clear by Ellis. Promoted! Forest Green are going up! A Football League club for the first time in their history. It's third time looking in the playoffs. Joy and relief for Mark Cooper and his team. A release of emotion, no doubt for Dale Vince. Losers at Wembley a year ago, what a contrast today. The National League's longest serving club. They've dreamed about and worked towards this for so long. Now it's a reality, now they can celebrate. It is utter dejection though for Tranmere. So near, yet so far, this season's runners-up. 95 points they amass 
that they fall at the last. A summer of soul-searching ahead for Mickey Mellon and his players. Their wait for a return to the Football League goes on. Incredibly hard, no doubt, to take and accept that Forest Green Adam Virgo have done it. Such a contrast in emotions for those Tramby Rovers players. Well, this is the moment they've waited for. Forest Green are winners of the 2017 National League promotion final. They finally reached the promised land of the Football League. Their long wait is over. It is third time lucky in the playoffs. A club with big ambitions and they'll hope for many more days like this in the future. League two awaits for Mark Cooper in August. But right now it's about enjoying the moment. Forest Green today's winners at Wembley. A day their supporters will never forget, Adam. Well, doesn't matter how much money you ever earn in football, whatever level you play at, money can't buy this. It's a great occasion for the players to, to celebrate a victory, a hard-fought victory today against a, a very good Tranmere side that you probably feel on 95 points deserve to be promoted to the Football League as well. But Mark Cooper tactically got it right today. And commiserations to Tranmere. I'm sure next season they'll come back even stronger after this defeat. Only after look what happened to Forest Green. Well, no doubt they will be among the favourites for automatic promotion next season. Tranmere Rovers, as Adam says, having amassed 95 points, they can count themselves pretty unlucky not to be going up. But it's Forest Green who hold the trophy. It is Forest Green, Matt Smith, who are heading to League Two.